If you just purchased a Unify U7 Pro access point, installation is very simple. There's multiple options for installing the U7 Pro. Each U7 access point comes with all the mounting materials needed for any mounting solution. One important thing to note is that the U7 access point runs on power over ethernet. So you need a PoE gateway or switch to power and use this access point. And Ubiquiti has plenty of options at Micro Center. This access point will not run with any router or switch. So talk with one of our associates for information on PoE switches. One method of mounting the U7 access point is to the ceiling or the drop down tile directly. Here are the mounting tools you'll need for mounting to the ceiling tile. We also recommend a pencil, drill with an 18 millimeter drill bit, a five millimeter drill bit, and a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the specific ceiling tile that you want to attach the access point to. Use the guiding tool to mark the four mounting holes as well as the large hole for the RJ45 ethernet cable. Drill the four small holes with the five millimeter drill bit and then the large hole with the 18 millimeter drill bit. Now, take the attachment plate and line it up to those four drilled holes. These should line up with the A labeled holes. Place the four M3 screws into the plate and drilled holes. Flip the tile around and place the second attachment plate onto the screws. Use the four bolts to tighten the plates together onto the ceiling tile. With a Phillips screwdriver to hold down the screws, tighten the bolts with a small wrench. Before placing the ceiling tile back into the ceiling, it's important to have already run your ethernet cable to the location from your gateway or switch. So if you haven't run that cable yet, now's the time to do it. Place the ceiling tile back into the frame and run the ethernet cable through the drilled hole. Keep some slack on the ethernet cable run through the hole. Now plug in the ethernet cable into the RJ45 port on the U7 access point. Attach the access point to the plate and line up the gray mark to the black mark on the plate to line up the access point correctly. Turn the access point clockwise and it'll lock into place onto the plate. That's it. You're all set and your U7 access point is now installed. If you ever want to remove the access point, use the small included Allen wrench and insert it into the small slot on the right side to release the latch. Turn counterclockwise and the access point removes from the plate. If you don't want to drill into the ceiling tile, you can attach the U7 access point directly onto the T-bar frame around the tiles. You'll need the guide, attachment plate, two T-bar brackets, two small M3 screws, and both Allen wrenches. You'll also need a Phillips screwdriver. This requires you to remove two tiles on either side of the T-bar. With the two T-bar brackets, use the Allen wrench to slide the screws out of the bracket, but it's important not to remove the screws completely, just partially unscrew them from the bracket. The brackets turn and attach easily to the T-bar. It's important that the spacing of the screw holes of the brackets are 77 millimeters apart to attach to the plate. Use the Allen wrench to tighten the screws so the brackets hold onto the T-bar. Use the Phillips screwdriver to attach the plate to the brackets with the two small M3 screws. The bracket holes will line up to the B labeled holes. Tighten the screws to attach the plate to the brackets. Run the ethernet cable through the open channel on the bottom of the plate. Reinsert the tiles to the T-bars. Plug in the ethernet cable into the RJ45 port on the access point. Attach the access point to the plate, line up the gray mark to the black mark on the plate to line up the access point correctly. Turn the access point clockwise and it'll lock into place onto the plate. That's it, you're all set and your U7 access point is now installed onto a T-bar. If you want to wall mount the U7 access point, there's materials for in-wall or on-wall, depending on whether you have the ethernet cable inside the wall or just running to the access point on the outside of the wall. For in-wall, you're going to have to drill a hole into your wall as well as four holes for the anchors to mount for the U7 Pro. You'll need a pencil, a drill, a mallet, an 18mm drill bit for the ethernet hole, 5mm drill bit for the anchors, and a Phillips screwdriver. Find the ideal wall location for your access point and use the guiding paper to make pencil marks for the 5mm holes and the 18mm hole for your ethernet cable. The included bubble level on the paper will help you mount the access point upright. 
drill the four five millimeter holes in the marked areas of the wall. Next, drill the 18 millimeter hole for the ethernet cable. Take the four anchors and the mallet and tap the anchors into the four five millimeter holes. Next, take the four M3 screws and the Phillips screwdriver and place the attachment plate over the anchors. Line up the anchors to the A-labeled holes and screw in the four M3 screws to attach the plate. Run the ethernet cable through the 18 millimeter drilled hole. If you need to run the cable through the wall, then now is the time to run it. Plug in the ethernet cable into the RJ45 port of the U7 access point. Attach the access point to the plate and line up the gray mark to the black mark on the plate to line up the access point correctly. Turn the access point clockwise and it'll lock into place on the plate on your wall. That's it, you're all set and your U7 access point is now installed onto your wall. The U7 Pro access point can also be mounted directly to any gang box found in a wall or a ceiling where ethernet cables are commonly run to. For this installation, you'll need just the attachment plate, two of the gang box screws, the Allen wrench, and a Phillips screwdriver. With the box already prepped, just match the two E-labeled holes on the attachment plate to the top and bottom holes on the outlet box. Make sure to run the ethernet cable through the slot on the bottom of the plate and then insert the screws. With the plate secured, plug in the ethernet cable into the RJ45 port of the U7 access point. Attach the access point to the plate and line up the gray mark to the black mark on the plate to light up the access point correctly. Turn the access point clockwise and it'll lock into place onto the plate. That's it, you're all set and your U7 access point is now installed onto any outlet. To adopt the U7 Pro, make sure the ethernet cable is plugged into your switch or other device. The U7 Pro will light up around the ring and start to flash. A new device will show in the Unify app and follow the on-screen instructions to add the access point to your network. Those are the most common methods for installing your U7 access point, and the attachment point has further mounting points for a 4-inch square junction box, a 4-inch round junction box, a European outlet box, and just about any other surface or mounting situation that you'll encounter. Make sure to check out our wide selection of Ubiquiti products at Micro Center and talk to one of our knowledgeable associates to help you decide on the best Ubiquiti product for your networking needs. Thank you.